Welcome to you know the React video. And today we're going to be talking about CSS. Now, the whole thing we're not gonna dive into every single CSS property and stuff like that. The main goal behind this is to kind of show you guys different ways that you can style a React component. Right, just before we get started, in the last video we talk about React life cycles. We talk about how React life cycles work. We talk about uh, different re React life cycles, such as component did mount, component will mount, component will receive props, should component update, component will update, component did update, component will mount. But anyway, long story short, let's get our hands dirty. All right, first thing first, I'm going to go ahead, very basic, I'm going to go ahead and import React from the React. Uh, library itself, and then I'm going to define a React component. I'm going to define this one called app app as default and let's see what we have we have something that looks like this all right guys so whenever you are using css you got different ways available for you i'm going to quickly go over uh three ways actually and we'll leave one way for you guys to feel free to explore like four different ways you can style a react component i'm just going to focus on the on three way for now i quickly will go over the other ways in case you guys are wondering or give you some resources on how to get started with it but we're going to be focusing about three different ways you could style a react component first one is for now we have in css files this is a css down here i'm going to go ahead and kind of delete all of this and now the only thing you need to do once you have a css file maybe you had some sort of or you had the body is equal to background color all right now if you want to bring this css over you can go ahead inside your component and do import that and then the path of your CSS. Make sure you end it with that CSS. This is just a way to kind of go and grab the CSS file. And now believe it or not, once you import it, this will go ahead and apply to any component that's down here. And we end up having something that looks like this. And I can of course delete that. All right, there you go, guys. My background is now set. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and comment this for now. This is just one way to just import a style sheet. The other ways is having an object called styles. And then once you have this object, you can kind of set up different property inside of it. You can hit set one called container. And this one, uh, you can set the background here. Color is equal to green. We can set the height. To equal to 500 pixel the same thing uh, and you can also have many other style as you want maybe you want to have a header or maybe you want to have a paragraph or maybe you want to have a title you want to style the title too you can say font size is equal to uh to probably 26 pixels you want it to be bigger right well we have a style object the way we use this is if we head over here we can say uh, style attribute and the style attribute itself can be referring to this entire style object by just doing style that container and you grab the container object inside of it and ladies and gentlemen if we refresh this again we should be able to see our green color like that now if you want to explain the second one which is the title over this title down here you can say again style is equal to this big container that you have called style that title and this will be applying this font size to this and we end up having uh, something like that or maybe we want it to be like uh, 12 pixels something very very small right and if we refresh this we'll end it having something very very small like once again this is just one way and this way it's called inline styling in react now one thing to be mindful about it here is if you notice this is equal to camel cases. This is one thing to be mindful about. All right, what is the third way? The third way is actually very similar with the style sheet, but a little bit different, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and delete all my style, whatever I had, and go ahead and kind of show you guys the, the next way. The next way is head over the app.cs. What I can do here, I can have something called local. And the local itself takes a parenthesis and I can define what all the attribute I want it to be. And let's say I want this one to be the container. And within the container, I can have the same thing. I can have background. Uh, I can just say background color is actually going to be equal to, to the same color again. It's going to be equal to green. 
you know the same this, this one is going to be equal to green all right and then the next one is i want the height to be equal to 500 pixel and i can do the same thing again the decline on other local and this local i'm going to say this one i want it to be the title and this title i'm going to have the font size is equal to 14 again now the way we use this the css on uh, the css itself we head over we're going to go ahead and port it and we're going to call this one style from the app.css and the way we use it it's kind of similar with the inline styling but a little bit different here i'm going to define a class name and i kind of pass it a bracket because i'm going to do some sort of javascript expression i'm going to do css that container and what this going to do is this going to go inside the css files and grab this container class which is contain all of this let's find out and there you guys go i now have the background is equal to red let's go ahead and see if we can change this one to equal to uh, probably probably orange something like this and let's see if this works. and there you guys go now it's equal to orange and if i want to get the other one i can do the same thing i can say all right class name and go ahead and do styles that title and that should be able to get the title and make sure that we now have a title that is equal to lower now this css it's equal to c it's called css module it does need some sort of further configuration in order for you guys and uh, now one thing to notice is if you guys are using the the create react app like if you just use the cli to use it well you instantly have this available for you that you can do but if you guys are using some sort of like webpack configuration and you would like to have this type of things inside of it you need to go ahead inside your, your inside your webpack you need to have some sort of whatever you have in it and your loader should be considered should be ending like something like this in order for you to be able to have it anyway long story short this is everything about css uh, css thing you can use whichever one that you prefer but my favorite way is just import the CSS like that. And I just thought, you know, like I don't even need to worry about the class and stuff like that. Okay. So this is my way of doing it, but you can feel free to pick whichever ways that you guys feel comfortable to. And the fourth way that I was talking about is something that's called style components. It's an NPM package that you need to install. Once you go ahead, you, uh, you can just Google it or style that component we can do npm it's a package that we need to install so once we go ahead and install this package down here i'm going to go there's the package there's over 400 000, half a million people are currently using this package right now just go ahead and, uh, and install it and this is how it works you technically define like you know like your title here uh it's a little bit quite interesting to use but the bottom line is just wanted to kind of let you guys know that this is available out there you can feel free to use it i'm thinking about doing an entire video just about it to kind of show you guys some trick using it too but it's available feel free to use it and uh yeah all right, see you guys in the next video.